What's up, y'all? Snow Joe Cowher coming at you live from Phnom Penh, Cambodia, the heart of Southeast Asia, everybody. What the fuck's going on, guys? Got an email. Guy's name is Adam. And he asked me several questions. Um, the first question I'm going to actually speak on today. The second, the second one, he asked me about ayahuasca, and I kind of did a video on that yesterday, and I, it's already out. You guys can check it out. It's called um, My Experiences with Ayahuasca and Parallel Universes in, in Cambodia. And he asked me another one about drugs, um, which I'm not going to speak on. Um, you know, he's... Guys, guys, drugs are here. If you want drugs, they're fucking here, dude. Real simple, all right? I'm not going to tell you, I'm not going to give you, like, any fucking contacts or whatever. Like, if you guys want drugs, they're fucking here. I'm not that guy, all right? That, 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 that's not what I do. I don't, I don't get people drugs, all right? I digress. So the email, or the, uh, the question is, it is a well-known, or I'm sorry, it is well-known that Southeast Asian men often fight in groups. While I recognize that it is generally a good idea to stay out of trouble and avoid fighting at all costs, I also realize that in the, we the real world, especially here, we may at some point come across a situation in which we absolutely need to defend ourselves. Yeah, that's true, man. Can you provide any tips on fighting a group of aggressors by yourself? Can you provide insight into any general differences between the fighting style of Kamai and Westerners? I'm gonna shut this door because this dog is barking. Hold on, guys. Sorry, hold up. Sorry, guys. We 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 have we have this neighbor, and uh, they they for whatever reason just like to let their dogs bark all day. Um, so yeah, um, very 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 inconsiderate people. Which is something that I could say about Cambodia. A lot of the people that live here, again, I'm not, I'm not saying that Cambodians are bad people, so lay off the keyboard, people. Relax. But generally speaking, Cambodians are inconsiderate to others in terms of like making noise and being in your way, things like that. They just don't really have that kind of, they don't, they don't think like that. They don't think, oh, well, maybe, maybe what I'm doing is bothering this person. Um, maybe I'm ruining their day. Um, but fuck them, I don't care. That, 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 that's kind of how Cambodians can be. Um, and if anybody has a problem with when I said fuck you, that's the truth. <clears throat> so, I digress. Yeah, I mean, about, about fighting Kamai, I mean, I, mean, I mean, look guys, regardless of where you live, you, you definitely want to avoid street fighting. Like, that's not safe. And it, obviously, the number one thing is, yes, well, you, you're most likely going to get arrested and go to jail. It's, it's illegal to fight on the street uh you know and when you're like regardless of the country like even in, in the usa if you get into a street fight you don't really know who you're going up against i mean this this person might have a gun they might have a knife they might they might have some kind of weapon or whatever they might they might be completely fucking crazy or they might be an awesome fighter and kick your fucking ass dude you know i mean like there's guys that that have that have given me the look before that have tried me and I, and I just know, like, I would fucking smash this guy. But even if I did here in Cambodia, I'm most likely going to get arrested and go to Cambodian jail, which would suck ass. So in terms of getting in a fight here in Cambodia on the street, yeah, you definitely want to avoid it. My, my number one thing is because I don't want to go to jail. I'm not, I'm not so much scared of getting hurt or getting killed. It's just I, like, I fear captivity more than anything. Uh, I, I, I'd rather be shot or beaten to death than go to jail here. And a, as you know, in a video I made, it's called Gun to My Head in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. I, I, I was in a situation like that where I got hit by a car. It was completely the, it was completely his fault. Completely his, it was not, it was nothing I could have done. I just got ran over. And I got up to fight the guy and he gets out of his car like a bitch with, and he put, puts, puts, puts a gun in my face. Well, not like in my face, but like points it at my head and says he's going to kill me. So I was like, boom, boom, go ahead, motherfucker, do it, bitch. And guess what? He didn't do it. And in that moment, in that moment, like I was fearless. I, I had no fear of death because if that guy was going to kill me, 
then he was going to kill me. Like, he could have just pulled the trigger. There would have been nothing I could have done about it. Whether I would have cowered in fear, whether I would have done the way, the way I handled it, whether I would have uh, tried to, like, run away or whatever I, I could have done, he still could have shot me. So I'm not going to let this guy get the best of me and think that he's going to put fear in my heart because he's too much of a bitch to fight, so he's going to pull out a gun. I hope, I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. Maybe some of you think I'm nuts, but... If I get into a street fight here, if I'm in a situation where I'm outnumbered, I'm going to go out guns blazing. I'm going to, if I'm, if, if I'm going to get killed in a street fight or get seriously hurt, I'm going out guns blazing. So that's my advice to you, Adam. Um, you would ask me like, what do you, do you, do you have any tips when it comes to being, uh, being attacked by multiple attackers? Um, my advice to you is crazy. All right. Not everybody knows karate, not everybody knows boxing, not everybody knows whatever, this and that, but everybody knows crazy. Everybody has crazy in them, okay? So, when in doubt, go nuts, go for the gouge eyes, bite a motherfucker, pull hair, scream, kick in the balls, snap their fingers, do whatever you have to do to inflict pain on them, okay? And try your best to stay on your feet and not get put on the ground. All right, if there's a rock nearby, pick up a rock and throw it at his face. Scream, bark, spit, salivate. Do anything you can do to, to, to just, like, let this motherfucker know you are fearless and not scared of them. Um, and even so, you could still get killed, man. I'm not going to lie. If you get attacked by multiple people, you could get killed or seriously fucked up, man. Uh, but that's my advice to you, dude. And in terms of uh, avoiding fights... Like, if you're riding here in traffic and somebody brushes ne brushes up next to you or, or gets a little closer, almost causes an accident, it's best to just let it go. It's be I, Believe me, and I still do it today, I still get pissed. I still throw my hands up and, fl and flick them off and cuss. It still pisses me off and because I'm, not, I'm still not used to it, okay? And again, if any Cambodians are watching and you want me to leave your country... It's not, first of all, it's not your country. You're just a dumb motherfucker who lives here in, in this border, okay? I'm not going any fucking where, bitch. You, you, you gotta shoot me. If you want me out of your country, you gotta shoot me and kill me, all right? I'm not, I'm not leaving for shit. Uh, I know I'm all red in the face now, right? I'm all getting all heated. So I guess that's it. And yeah, the fighting style between Kamai and Westerners, basically the difference between the way Kamai men fight and Western men fight on the street. I'm not talking about martial arts. I'm talk, talking about a street fight. Most Cambodian men, from what I see, are cowardly. I'm not saying all of them. I'm sure a lot of them are bad motherfuckers, but mostly, a lot of these guys, they don't really know how to fight. They don't really know what they're doing, so they're quick to pick up a weapon. They're quick to get it. They're fighting groups. That uh, Again, like they, they, they fight in groups, which means that you're a bitch. Um, and if you're going to pick up a weapon instead of fight like a man, um, it's because you're scared. Because, because you're scared that you can't do anything with your own body. Um, so I would say, generally speaking, uh, I don't know, though. Yeah, because a lot of Western guys are the same way. So, I mean, a lot of Western guys are pussies, too. So I don't even know if you could really generalize it, man. But regardless, regardless. Try your best to stay out of trouble. Don't be getting in street fights. If somebody is trying to rob you or whatever or give you a hard time or beat you up, don't let them do it. All right? And again, that's my advice. I, I speak for myself. I'm not going to let somebody come up on me like that. I don't let people walk up on me with, with any kind of look, with, looking at me any kind of way. I, I'm just not having it. I, I actually, that dog that you just saw or that heard, they, sometimes the dogs are in the alleyway and they try to attack me. There's two of them. There's two dogs and they're, they're not small dogs. They're pretty, pretty good size. And they like to do that to some of the people. So what I do is I scream at them and I kick them in the face every time. I kick them in the face. And if I am in the position to get a hold of the dog, I'm going to kill the dog. And I will say this on YouTube. If I'm being attacked by an animal or a person, I'm going to freak out on you and I'm going to kill you. Or I'm going to seriously try to fuck you up. So that's my style. All right? I'm not taking any shit from a dog. I'm not damn sure not taking anything from a man. Um, so that's my advice to you, Adam. Stay out of trouble. But if trouble comes looking for you, remember, you might not know karate, but you know crazy, man. All right? Anyways, I digress. Uh, if you guys want to email me, it's nojokestriking at gmail.com. That's nojokestriking at gmail.com. Bitches.
It was a pleasure to speak to you guys today. Go fuck yourself. Peace.